To write the net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus potassium carbonate, we first need to balance the molecular equation. And we can do that by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of the potassium nitrate. So that balances the molecular equation. And then we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, compounds with NO3, the nitrate ion, are very soluble. So we're going to write aqueous after those. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Compounds with potassium are also very soluble. Even though, in general, carbonates are insoluble, we have potassium carbonate. That is soluble, so we write AQ. Magnesium carbonate, that's not soluble. This is insoluble, as are most carbonates. Because of that, when we react these two substances together, this solid forms, it's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. So MgCO3, the solid, because it's insoluble, that's our precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. In the reactants we have on the top, down here we have the products. So I can see there are two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. So these are spectator ions. We cross those out. Two potassium ions, again, we see two potassium ions. Cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for MgNO3, 2 plus K2CO3. Let's remove those spectator ions. And this is our balanced net ionic equation. Note that the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced too. 2 plus, 2 minus gives us a net charge of 0. Here in the products, this is a neutral compound, so its net charge is 0 as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus potassium carbonate. Thanks for watching.